Today I want to share with you a library I found recently that has provided me with a lot of help in taking screenshots of websites. Now usually when you take a screenshot you either use your uh, operating systems uh, screenshot taking program or anything so but I don't want to do it I want to do it programmatically. Let's say I have a cron job somewhere setting up that takes a screenshot of a website periodically. So I never want to do this manually. It's too time consuming and too much work. So I went around the web and searched for a nice little library to help me with that. And Node Webshot is the library that I found that's pretty useful and very powerful. It's a wrapper built on top of PhantomJS, a WebKit based uh, headless browser. And it could do pretty much everything PhantomJS can do, but this one is built specifically to take screenshots. So let's take a look at how we can use it. To install the library, you have to do npm install webshot. This will install the webshot module into your projects. Here I have done that already. And you can see that the code to run this is very simple. All you have to do is include the webshot library. And then to call it, you can do this. Call the library with the first parameter is the URL of the web page you want to take screenshot of. The second parameter is the output file name of the, of the screenshot. Now this is just the name of the file. It will appear right in the same directory as index.js. Now if I want it to be in a different folder, I can do you know output. So you can also put a path in here and it will put the the screenshot in the folder that you want. And then the third parameter is the callback. And this callback will basically tell you if there's any error or not. And it will, uh, if there's no error, you, I'm asking it to say screenshot taken. So let's run this program and see what happens. Do node index.js. So it'll go out and look at the image and take a screenshot. As you can see, there's a new file up here called Pentacode PNG. So if I click on it, and you can see, this is the screenshot of the website. Very fast and painlessly um, taking screenshots. I like this. Now, what if you want to take a specific section of the website? Let's say I want to take the image of the website where there's uh, anything under this container class. I only want this specific area on the website. Well, no problem. You can do it too with uh, options parameter. So pass in an options parameter and pass that as the third parameter for webshot. So here I pass in tr container for pentacle.com and to the capture selector parameter. So once I do this, I can run the program. And it will go out and take a picture of only the content within TR container. So give it a second. There it is. So if I go to Pentacle Selector.png, as you can see, it's not the image of the whole site, but only a specific container. As you can see, compared to the whole website here, it's only taking the picture of the container. So this is extremely useful if you only care about a specific area on a website. Now the last thing I want us to do is, what if you want to take a screenshot of the mobile website? I don't want to uh, take a screenshot of the desktop. I want to see what the mobile looks like. Well, you can do that just as easily with a options parameter. So here I'm passing in the screen size that I want for the screenshot of the, of the um, browser. And then here I want the screenshot size of the output. And then you can ask, also pass in user agent if you want so only some websites um, render differently based on different user agents. So you can pass that in as well. And then we're just going to do a website. And I'm going to call it Pentacle Mobile this time. So if I run this and go to Pentacle Mobile, and as you can see, it, take, it took a whole screenshot of the website in mobile view. Very, very useful. So I hope you find this library useful and I, all credit goes to the author of No Webshot. Um, you can go to their website and see there's a bunch of extra options here you can use to fully leverage its power. It's actually very, very powerful. So I highly suggest you go to their, um, their website, this GitHub, and check it out. We also have the link in the article uh, accompanying this video, so check it out. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.